Destiny 2 beta is coming. When? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Probably sometime in July. It's not the point of this video, though. In this video, I just want to talk about expectations for the beta. I got some people asking me about what I want to see in the beta, so let's, let's chat about all of that. Destiny 2 is a pretty big deal for Bungie. It's their chance to show the public who skipped Destiny 1 or who thought it was bad at launch that they've learned some lessons. So naturally, one would assume that to impress people, you have a big, awesome beta because that's where the general public is probably going to be getting a lot of their first hands-on impressions. But, if we look back on the Destiny 1 beta, what happened? What did the Destiny 1 beta have? Well, it was actually pretty big. We had the Cosmodrome to explore, all of the Cosmodrome story and strike, and then they opened up the moon for a short time with the story mission there, along with PvP on two maps and plenty of loot. It just so happened that what we thought was going to be a very small portion of the game actually ended up being, well, a good chunk of the game itself, including basically what all the Earth Zone had to offer at the time. This ended up impressing people during the beta, which is great, but felt misleading when the game actually launched because we had already experienced a lot of the core gameplay loop and a good amount of the content, and because, well, the game just wasn't as full of things as we thought it would be. I always look back on Titanfall 1 as being too good when it comes to betas. Maybe too good is the wrong phrase, but too much of the core gameplay was in the beta to the point where when the main game came out, it just felt like the beta with a few more maps. Titanfall 1 was still a pretty good game, and this wasn't the only problem it had, but it's a great example of a game that had a really fun beta that contained a lot of what to expect from the main game. Which, you would think, is what you want to do with a beta, but it's a very fine line that needs to be drawn. Show too much, and people may be unimpressed with the main game. Show too little, and people might not be interested enough in buying it. Destiny 2's beta is in a weird spot right now because they need to try to pull people back to the franchise while not repeating the same mistakes as the Destiny 1 beta. Now, for what's probably the 100th time that I'm saying this, I have no reason to believe that Destiny 2 will be equal or worse to Destiny 1 in terms of the main campaign experience. Destiny 2's campaign is probably going to be leagues better than Destiny 1, and at the very least, will be longer and or more interesting. So for the sake of the video, we'll continue with that assumption. Let's look at a timeline. We have the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal where we saw an intro story mission, a strike, and some PvP. E3 is coming up very soon, and I don't anticipate Bungie bringing a new build to E3 because very few people have actually gotten to play Destiny 2, but we know we'll see Arc Strider, so that's one new thing. It would not surprise me in the slightest, then, if the beta build ended up being very similar to what we've already seen, it's just that you'll actually be able to play it for yourself with maybe one or two additional things, like, I don't know, another story mission or something. I don't think Bungie wants to make the same mistake that they did in Destiny 1's beta, but at the same time, if Destiny 2's campaign, and by extension, the entire game, is way more expansive than Destiny 1, then technically, if Destiny 2's beta was like Destiny 1's beta, they might actually be better off versus Destiny 1's beta, since the beta content wouldn't be as large of a chunk of Destiny 2's content compared to Destiny 1. That was a lot of words. Basically, doing what they did for Destiny 1's beta might actually be okay this time around if they were to do that. Maybe not completely okay, but more okay than Destiny 1. My worry is that if the beta is too small that the general public might not be entirely sold on it, and I do want the general public to enjoy the game, you know? I'm just as sick of seeing people still play this game and Destiny still sucks just like everybody else who still enjoys the game. And I do think the beta is basically going to go one of those two ways. Either they're going to go big with it to try to impress people, or we'll just end up getting something like the reveal event and E3 build with maybe one or two more things tacked on. Something like showing off an adventure in Patrol seems like it would be a good idea to give people a taste of what to expect with that, but it might also be something they want to keep tucked away as to not give away a new feature in the beta. 
seeing something like Arc Strider at E3 actually surprises me because that might lead to seeing Sentinel in beta, and I didn't think we'd be seeing all of the subclasses so quickly. What would you like to see from the beta? Do you think Bungie should go big with it, or should they keep things reserved? I know personally that I'm the kind of player who would rather be surprised on launch day, and if I wasn't a YouTuber, I would want the beta to be minimal. As a YouTuber, I certainly like Destiny 1's beta because it gave me a lot of stuff to make videos on, but that's also because Destiny was brand new at the time. I usually stay away from something like the World of Warcraft public test realm, which is where big content patches go to be tested in a beta-like way, so that I didn't experience a small trickle of new content, but would rather just wait for it to be launched all at once, so that I can experience it all at once. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time.